You want to make your brain more flexible, fire your synapses faster. At 9.21 gigawatts! Then this is the video to watch. There's no question about it. Yeah. I'm inspired. Yeah. I'm inspired. Yeah. Hey there guys, what's happening? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sumit Chatterjee from the Flow Zone Academy and I'm a flow state coach, which means that I help you feel better and perform better. Please ignore the sound in the background. I might get copyright strike for this. But at this point, I do not care. I just need to record this video today, so let's go. Brain flexibility, let's talk about it. Neuroplasticity, let's talk about it. So basically this video will, I'll give you certain exercises that you can do that are very, very quick that will help your brain's amplification and also speeding up the learning of your brain, okay? So basically this is the first one that you wanna be doing. Really easy. Make it really natural for you. I know I have giant fingers, by the way. Second one that you wanna be doing is just like this, all the fingers touching and then close together, touching, close together, touching, close together, okay? Next one you wanna be doing is have your palm facing in front of you like this, okay? And then close it down and then go in order. And then put them down and then up again. Try doing opposites. Okay. Keeping certain ones up, keeping certain ones down. Okay, try the opposite of that. Good. Good, okay? So this is something you can practice, man. This is These are really helpful. They're gonna make your brain way more flexible. And of course, you guys know this one, okay? The brain gym one. So what I just did there is opposite. Grab like this, pull it through. Mm, okay? So this one is a little bit more difficult. However, it's basically you pointing with one finger and then both fingers going up like this. This one's not that easy. It needs a little bit of coordination. However, some people can do it well, you know? It's just uh, another one of those exercises that are really powerful. The next one you do is clap your hands, one finger and okay sign one finger. One, clap your hands. You switch over, so this finger would be like this, this finger would be like this, okay? Then you wanna to try to do it faster, right, if you can. This is a really good one, just in general, these are going up a level, so you might just play around with it, you know, have fun with this kind of stuff, you know, do some jutsu type of stuff, okay, do some tutting, fake tutting, <laughs> why not? I mean, have fun with it, you know? Don't like limit yourself and be like, oh, I only need to do this exercise, 17 reps. Don't get so strategic about it. I want you to just have fun with these, okay? This is really gonna make your brain learn things faster, okay? Really, really key for our generation where, you know, we're just scattered with so much information overload and digital stimulation that we can't even concentrate, man. We've got to remember what Jim Quick said about learning being state dependent. Okay, so that means if you're bored in a classroom, you're not gonna be learning that well, okay? But if you're up, you're engaged, you're excited, your state has changed. Hey, maybe you're learning outdoors or it's some kind of a you know workshop where you're standing up and you're doing interactive things, experiential learning. That's gonna help you learn way faster than you just sitting at a table doing a bunch of, you know, tiddlywinks or whatever, you know, that game was. Like this, like this this like this okay wrists this is great man I love these ones just from your wrists okay give yourself a bear hug one arm over the other right
tap your body. Now we're gonna do a little bit of a brain massage, okay? Pinch, twist, 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 twist. Pinch, 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 squeeze. Squeeze the top of your head. This is great for hair growth, blood stimulation to the hair as well, okay? Uh, let's give your brain an earthquake. Uh, you're gonna feel your ears buzz if they're blocked, like mine. Let's do it again. Just shake your scalp. Good. You go like this. You touch the thumb with all the fingers, okay? You touch the thumb with all the fingers, you can... Do this uh, in a row, thumbs battle it out, like which which they're gonna catch first, you know, which one is gonna win at catching it, stuff like this. You know, you use these to count, right? So get really clever with this. Lift up only your index. Your pinky, pinkies only, index only. Index and pinky. Good. Middle finger and index finger. Good. Ring finger. Good. This one is for my vision. I like to use a panoramic vision, so I'll, I'll try and see more of the room, which means use your peripherals, wide angle gaze, and then try having one spot in the room that you go towards. And then wide angle gaze again. and then directly forward again. Wide angle gaze again. Soft gaze. Focus gaze. Soft gaze, focus gaze. This is really good for flow state as well. These are some great techniques, you know, for concentration as well, having a certain symbol that you look at, um, things like this, but I have way more techniques like this. If you wanna get in touch with me, have an incredible day, may the flow be with you and stay legendary. Let me know if these work for you.